In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome animated graph animation as shown here very easily using After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a new composition with a 16 to 9 frame size ratio. And first of all, I would like to create a rounded rectangle background and change the fill color. Now select the pin tool and draw a straight line. Make sure you hold the shift key to make a path straight. And here set the fill to none and adjust the stroke size to something like 6 pixels. Now duplicate the shape layer by pressing Ctrl D and then select this starting point and position it perpendicularly as shown here. Enable the rulers by pressing Ctrl R. Now let's have the guides after every 200 points. Same goes for this horizontal side as well. Now select the pin tool and draw these markers or labels whatever. Now duplicate the layer and position them on each and every guide. Now select all these shape layers and pre comb them. For now disable the guides. Now it's time to add the text. Let me compress its height. Duplicate the layer and fill all these labels. After done, select all these layers and pre comb them. Now enable the guides back on. Now select the pin tool and draw the shape as shown here. You can adjust the path anytime. Make sure you close the path. Now duplicate the shape layer and rename the bottom one to gradient. Now hide the top shape layer for a moment. Now with the gradient layer selected, set the stroke size to 0 and make sure the fill is set to gradient. You can choose the gradient colors from here. Open the gradient fill properties and select the selection tool. Then you can see these two handles right here. From here, you can adjust the position of gradient by positioning these handles like however you want, vertically or horizontally. Now you can turn on the view of the top shape layer. Now with the pin tool, select this bottom right corner vertex and press delete to delete this pointer or vertex. Now hold the alt key and select the starting point and now hold alt and shift and select the end point as well. Give a right click. Go to mask and shape path and make sure you de enable closed so that we can have a shape layer without any closed path. Now let's add the trim path to this shape layer. Open the trim path properties. Set the start value to 100 and make sure you add a keyframe by being on the first frame and then come few frames forward and set the start value to 0. So this is what we have got. Now select the gradient layer and let's add the linear wipe effect to it just to create the same kind of reveal animation. And here in the FX control panel, if you increase the transition completion value, you can see the wipe transition is happening from right to left. We want the wipe animation to start from left to right. So for that, adjust the wipe angle to exact opposite to the current value. That means to 270 degrees. Add a transition completion keyframe on the first frame and then come to about 2 seconds forward and adjust the transition completion value to 0%. To match the line shape, we need to add a bit of feather. So open the linear by properties and add a bit of feather to it. And let's adjust the feather value according to your needs. If you want, you can delay the transition by placing the keyframe a bit further. Yeah, this one looks good. Now let's add the circles. Select the ellipse tool and draw a circle exactly over this peak. Change the fill color to white and duplicate the shape layer and place them at their respective positions. Now let's animate the circles to make it look more appealing. Select all the circle shapes and add position keyframes on the first frame and then come a second forward on the timeline and again add position keyframe and then come to the first keyframe position. Now select only the first circle shape 
and adjust the position by value so that it can perfectly sit on the line shape. Now copy the Y position value and paste it on every shape position individually. Let's have them a bit closer to speed up the animation. And yeah, we left these two shape layers. No problem, let's do it now. Now offset these layers one after the other so that each circle pops up one after the other. Match the timing of the line shape. Yeah, it looks good. Now select all the layers except the background and pre comp them. Let's have all these layers at the center. If you want to have a smooth curve rather than these hard corners, you can do that as well. Now open the pre comp layer and find the graph line shape layer. Let's rename the shape layer to line. Now with that layer selected, select the convert vertex tool. All you need to do is to just click on this vertex point to turn those hard edges into smooth curvy edges. Do the same for every vertex point. Now select the gradient layer and repeat the same. Just click on this vertex point. So yeah, here we go. You can add the trim path effect to these lines as well to make the edit more interesting. Copy the trim path effect by pressing Ctrl C and then add this trim path effect on the other shape layer by pressing Ctrl D. Now select all the layers except the line shape layers and offset them a bit further. So yeah, here we go. This is the final preview. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.